Hi everyone, you're on Moby channel and I'm glad to see you on my channel again. Today in this video we're going to go back to the time of season 24, specifically I'm going to do a detailed analysis of the whole season, in order to refresh your memory, because the next 75 episode we should not wait for soon, I assume that the first leaks we will start to receive only at the end of this month, and the 75th episode we will see in early July, but these are just my theories and by the way be sure, to watch this video to the end, because at the end of the video I will tell you my theories about the next 75 episode, and now I really ask you to click on the like and subscribe to the channel, because it will help a lot to promote this video, otherwise you will suffer the fate of a lucky cameraman, but in any case we start. The episode begins by showing us the last seconds of Plungerman's life, then we see a message on the screen that the camera is offline and then we see not a secret scene but a brand new scene. This is the POV of the scientist cameraman and immediately at this point we can see his code name. It's scientist cameraman 1337. For those who don't know that this number is a meme, which means that this character is obscenely cool. Also this character is very angry and even beats his fist on the control panel. But he is understandable, because he has just seen his best friend Plungerman killed. Then we see what Mr. Boom showed us in his leaks. But only now we see what's happening on behalf of the scientist cameraman. Next we see SWAT Skibbity Mutant and yes this is the official name of the character, I told you about it in my leaks, he fires two missiles into the car behind which the backup cameraman was hiding, the car flips over, but the agent survives. Next, the scientist shows this Skibbity monster his powerful lasers, but blood manages to hide. Then a second later, the scientist is attacked again by another Skibbity monster. He is also a police squad, but he is less protected but he is very fast, and his hands are two circulating sharp saws. He pounces on the scientist, but the cameraman swings around and hits the monster, knocking him out with his iron fist and finishing him off with his hot lasers. Next, another skibbity toilet tries to fire a missile at the scientist, but the chamberlain, thanks to his mechanical suit, successfully dodges and counterattacks the enemy, leaving only burnt skibbity nuggets. But as soon as he finishes the battle with one opponent, he is immediately attacked by another and it is again Skibbity Mutant. And this time the enemy manages to slightly damage the scientist's mechanical avatar. But cameraman activates the sword on his second hand and pierces the enemy's head, throwing him off. He could move him and wanted to attack again, but the scientist managed to turn him into a medium rare steak. But he wouldn't have time to devour it, for another mutant was already pouncing on him. The scientist instantly repulsed the attack and we see that the opponents become very much. The scientist turns his head to look around, but on another street he sees two cameramen from the reinforcement squad trying to penetrate the shield of the main SWAT Skibbity mutant, but their lasers are unable to do so, then the enemy with a slight movement of his hand chops the cameraman with a sickle. And yes, this sickle is taken from the wolf character from the cartoon cat in Boots 2. I'm sorry, translator problems. I meant Puss in Boots 2, are the old viewers still here, by the way? After all, before analyzing Skibbity Toilet I made video memes with the cat in boots. Sorry, double facepalm. Well, now we continue. This cameraman has asked for help, but he's beyond help. Forgive us, I think we'll see you again in another world. POV cameraman scientist is angry and tries to penetrate the mutant's armor with his lasers, but their power is also not enough. Next, the enemy comes so close that he manages to cut off the cameraman's lasers. He then swings his sickle again and once again manages to damage the scientist. But then the mutant is hit by a powerful energy projectile. It damages his eye and Skibbity Mutant with anger looks at who did it and on his face you can understand that he was very surprised at who did it. Scientist turns and initially I saw as if it was flying Titan cameraman's head and lasers to shoot down all enemies who get in her eyes. But then when this device landed it became clear that it was an upgraded and improved cameraman spider. Let me remind you that this spider was the very first invention of the cameraman agents and after so many episodes this invention is back again, only this time it is even stronger. In addition to lasers, jetpack, powerful body and updated camera on this invention can be seen cannons, which uses Titan Speaker Man. And just by these cannon spider attacks the mutant, and the mutant loses control, he tries to fly away but crashes. But this is not the end of the fight, because further in the spider comes a shell from the enemy. Luckily the spider's camera has an improved tough body, so this shot didn't do any serious damage. The scientist turns around and we see a new kind of skibbity toilet emerge from the smoke. After all, 
the character in question rides out on a tank, and his appearance reminds me of several characters at once. The first one I remembered and I saw him is Krauser from the game Resident Evil, but then I remembered another character and it is Bill from the game Left 4 Dead. Who do you think this character is? And who did Mr. Boom leave the reference to? Let me know in the comments. Next, this skibbity tank fires missiles at the improved spider cam. They're already doing some damage to him, but he survives and infects one of the most powerful charges and he does it using his camera. The spider fires a lightning ball and the last thing the enemy says before he dies is Also, this ball lightning is one of Titan's cameraman abilities. Remember how in the very first episodes of Skibbity Toilet Titan used this ability against the toilets that got into the secret laboratory of cameraman agents. And also Titan used this ability in episode 64 against the flying toilets. Next, after destroying the Skibbity tank, the scientist turns to the spider and shows him his double barker. The scientist then heads to the very same Skibbity mutant to finally finish it off. Along the way he is attempted to be attacked from the air, but the camera spider backs him up. Then to prevent another enemy from interfering with the mutant's destruction, the scientist throws a toilet grenade at him and the toilet explodes. The scientist cameraman picks up the sickle of death and goes to the mutant. He shows him this gesture and I also noticed that this mutant's toilet bowl is an unusual blue color. And either this hints us that this enemy is a policeman or it is a reference to the first movie Avatar. After all, at the end of the movie there was also a battle of a man in a mech robot against the Avatar, aka Blue Mutant. Write in the comments what do you think, is it a coincidence or easter egg? Next, the destruction of the mutant is interrupted by the fact that the Titan G toilet began to fly past this location. He drops the full power of lasers on the mechanical suit cameraman scientist, from which he is thrown a short distance. The Titan is also attacked by an enhanced camera spider and G toilet raises one eyebrow in surprise. He seems to be a bit surprised by the cameraman agent's new invention and when the spider charged and fired a ball of lightning at Titan, he activated the shield. It seems that if he didn't, the spider was able to do a good amount of damage to him. Next, the Titan destroys the spider using its lasers. And it only took half the power of all his lasers to destroy it. Also further the scientist's mechanical suit began to spark and on his screen we could see the blue screen of death. After that the scientist had to escape from his suit, otherwise he would have exploded with it. Then the interesting details of the plot begin. After all, as it turned out the secret containers are not one, there are two of them. Also in the moment you can hear the voice skibbity Michael Jackson and see him. And also if you catch the frame, you can see the mad scientist skibbity which caused critical damage to the big agent cameraman in the 69th episode. And you can also spot the still sad Skibbity DJ. Don't worry fun, you'll get your new and improved body. Next, one of the Skibbity workers reports something to the Titan. I don't know the Skibbity language, so I can't understand what they are saying. Then suddenly and very quickly the Astro Toilet appears. And oh, my god, it's so big. Now we see it up close and this blood looks very massive. Astro Toilet takes the worker's skibbity and squeezes it and then throws it at the Titan G Toilet. There is also some dialogue going on between the two. Astro Toilet says, you will be punished for treason, commander. No one will escape justice. And he also starts charging his alien energies. But G Toilet only calmly charges all his lasers and even smiles. And that's where the first part of the 72nd episode of Skibbity Toilet ends. And you know what the best part is? That's why Astro Toilet called Titan G Toilet Commander. Looks like the G Toilet is really one of the most important toilets. And it looks like we're gonna see an epic battle of Titan G Toilet versus Astro Toilet in part 2. And honestly I'm insanely curious to see how it will play out and how it will end. I have a theory that G Toilet will win this battle, but Astro Toilet will not die. Then he'll be taken to the lab to ask him about G Toilet. Because it's also strange that Astro Toilet pays attention to the agents, but doesn't touch them. And the case when they attack the Titans could be a cunning plan to just intimidate the Titans to stay out of their G Toilet business. But again, this is just my theory. You can write your theories in comments and the most interesting ones will be in my next video, which will be devoted to theories about what can happen in the second part of the 72nd episode. Part 2 of the 72nd episode continues the events of the first part, which is logical by the way. And as I assumed in my theories, Titan G Toilet as soon as he charged his lasers, attacked Astro Toilet, but he held back Titan's lasers, 
thanks to his special claws, which can absorb all the energy that hits them. Astro Toilet redirected all the energy through itself, collected all the power in one charge and reflected it to Jimmy, but thanks to the shield, he withstood this blow. Next, Astro Toilet shows us his new ability. It turns out that he has tentacles in his claws, which he thrust into Jimmy and thus destroyed his shield and took his energy to be more powerful. But what happened next personally surprised me a lot, because Jimmy activated his protective helmet and it reminded me of the Skibbity Zombie universe from Monster Up. He also had an episode where the G-Toilet Titan activated his new armor. And then in full defense, Titan went to attack Astro Toilet again, but this time Astro also directed shield energy at him. And initially G-Toilet's lasers were stronger, but Astro boosted the power and Jimmy started to lose, but he was still holding the lasers. And also at this point G-Toilet's helpers flew in to help him and started attacking Astro Toilet. And after he sustained two heavy blows on him, he released the beams and switched to destroying the smaller enemies that were in his way. He dealt with them with ease, but the G-Toilet Titan had already recharged his lasers and started destroying the Astro Toilet. This time he didn't have time to catch the energy of the lasers, so he had to kiss the ground and probably even taste it. But that only made Astro Toilet even angrier. He uttered a phrase that goes like this, enough games. Then when Jimmy attacked him again, he was able to dodge, energized and went into UFC fighter mode. Eh, Dana White, could have put on a good show, but he hasn't shown up in this universe yet. Next Astro was able to remove the protective helmet from Titan and grabbed his head, just like in episode 60, but this time the scientist will not help him and also this shot we saw on the very first leak for this episode. I told you it was a real shot, not a troll, and you didn't believe me. It's sad, but moving on. For as it turns out, the Titan has learned to scream very loudly, just like the Titan Speaksman. I mean, he literally threw the Astro Toilet with a sonic wave. And also it seems that he went into rage mode and with lasers on full speed went into battle. And it's strange why Astro Toilet didn't use its energy claws this time. But it seems that it was saving energy to hit Titan at supersonic speed. The Titan received two powerful blows, which broke his goggles. But on the third blow, the Titan decided to activate his shield again and the Astro Toilet crashed into him at full speed and slowed him down a bit. G Toilet managed to damage him a little in that short time, but then he flew away again. He flew up to him from behind and decided to make a stealthy kill, but the Titan sensed something in time and shot Astro with his lasers, which are on his head. Astro flew back a bit and G Toilet started attacking again with his lasers, but this time Astro caught their energy with his claws and reflected them into Titan. Jimmy then turned off his lasers and Astro uttered the following. Next, the Titan charged a fireball from his reactor and slowly launched it at Astro, to which he responded. But this was all part of his cunning plan, for next he also gave a piece of his charges to Astro Toilet, but they were unusual, but with a purple glow, just like Titan TV man's energy. Astro thought that he just let himself be killed. But it turns out that these charges completely changed the control of the toilet and his claws start attacking him. Jimmy rejoices, because his cunning plan worked, but meanwhile Astro Toilet took serious measures on how to fight with his claws and his third hand helped him in this, but still in the end his second claw gave him a serious blow, from which he fell and there was an explosion. But nevertheless he was still alive and was not going to give up. But Crazy Jimmy is very sneaky. He started charging all his lasers to turn the Astro Toilet into dust and shot the barely alive Astro. But a second later, a whole new character appeared that Mr. Boom was talking about and just like I said in my theories, it's going to be a new Astro Toilet. And as we can see, it is. It's a brand new character and it's very similar to a character from the Verlance universe. So far this is the second reference to another Skibbity Toilet universe. Could it be that we'll be seeing a legendary collaboration between the three animators in the future? Write in the comments if this is something you'd like to see, and also write in the comments what we will call this new Astro Toilet. I propose to call him Red Eye, but you can also write your suggestions in the comments. Then Captain Red Eye shot a powerful charge at G Toilet from what his shield broke and his whole system was a little paralyzed and then when Red Eye tried to finish Titan at this moment Titan Speaker Man appeared and started to attack the new enemy. Next Red Astro shot at him but Speaker Man dodged but was knocked back by the blast wave from the shot. The blast wave was so strong that the Titan flew to the ground with great speed. Next, the Red Astro took his wounded comrade and flew away. After the Titan Speaker Man woke up, he immediately started to attack Jimmy. 
but by this time his shield had already recharged again and the Titans were already able to surround G-Toilet. The Titan TV man seemed to remember the events of episode 47 and decided to show Jimmy his red glow again. Even so, G-Toilet was able to find the strength to fly away. The Titan TV man said a secret phrase and while he was speaking, the Titan speaker man already flew after Jimmy. Next Titan TV man asked Titan cameraman if he was ready. To which Titan cameraman ripped off his old arm, attached his Astro Toilet Claw and answered TV man. That concludes part 2 of episode 72. As I said before in the secret scene we saw TV man scientist again, but we can understand it even without watching the scene, because this playboy is shown in the preview. Also let me remind you that the last time we saw this scientist was in episode 66 and then we assumed that we will see him more often, but as it turned out it was not so. And that's okay, he's a scientist, his job is to create new technologies, not to rush into battle like 299 Spartan. But let's get to the most secret scene, it begins with the moment when Titan Cameraman first spoke and by the way on this topic on my channel has already released two videos, so if you are interested to know why it happened, be sure to watch them. Next Titan Cameraman activates his jetpack and flies away after Titan G Toilet. Yes, in case you missed it, this lucky guy once again managed to save his toilet ass from the Alliance Titans. Next the POV scientist cameraman turns his head and we see the big agent TV man and TV man scientist move into the given location. Next the scientist says his secret phrase which goes like this. Get this bitch to the lab. Get this piece in the lab. And the big agent TV man responded. Um, I just translated what he replied and the answer shocked me. But I'll tell you this anyway. He said. Yes. And that's why this show is not for children. Is that clear? Okay, we continue. Then the TV man scientist replied, confidential, and looked at the cameraman scientist with a smiley face. Then he, the astro toilet claw and the big TV man agent teleported to his secret lab to further study this technology and by the way I've talked about it before so make sure you watch my videos where I tell you my theory, it's very interesting. And by the way, if you think that they took not the claw of astro toilet, but some other part of it, then no, this is exactly the claw, because here you can see the old toxic hand of Titan Cameraman. Next, the scientist hears a sound to the left and runs towards it. He runs through the fire and there we see a damaged but still alive camera spider. The scientist shows him a bark and the strider reciprocates. This ends the secret scene of episode 72. So, now it's time for a little theories and then I'll show you the alternate ending of part 2 of episode 72. So the TV man scientist with the big TV man took the second claw of the astro toilet for further study and I have two theories. The first is that in the course of the research, they will realize this claw has its own artificial intelligence and the Titan cameraman may be in danger because it will be controlled by the claw. The second option is that they can embed their artificial intelligence in this claw and on this basis they will create a number of improvements for the Titans of the Alliance. And it is possible that in the next serious battle one of the titans may suffer and he will be sent to a laboratory for treatment. And just like that it is there that the damaged titan will acquire new devices and new abilities. Be sure to write your theories in the comments and the most interesting of them will be in my next video, in which I will conduct a detailed analysis of all 72 episodes. Well, now let me show you an alternate ending to part 2 of episode 72. It was created by an author from the Boom Tunes channel. We all know the events that happened in the original episode and that in this episode we first saw the Astro Defender, but what if he had come a few seconds earlier? Most likely everything would have turned out the way you see on the screen now. G Toilet would have been badly damaged and most likely that would have been the end for him. The episode starts very unusually, namely from the moment when Plungerman died, and together with him his faithful friend Dark Speaker Man died. We see everything happening in the episode on behalf of Camera Woman. She tries to comfort her friend Speaker Woman, but she is very sad that she lost her friend in this battle. Then POV Camera Woman looks at Plungerman again and in this moment he finally dies. And if you look closely, you can see green sparks on him in addition to the blue sparks. Remember this moment. I think we'll need it in the future. Then Camera Woman tries to help her friend, but it's too late and she can't do anything about it. Then she rewinds the tape to remember the events of episode 57 when Plungerman was badly damaged and TV Woman moved him to a safe place. Then we rewind again and see the events of episode 52, 
when we see Camera Woman for the first time in the show. We are then transported to the time when Titan Speaker Man was infected with the parasite and as we can see Plungerman used to wear a black shirt with a red tie. And by the way, these are the events of episode 35, when the infected Titan, along with the G-Toilet Titan, found a secret agent lab where the Alliance developed an anti-parasitic cannon. We are then transported to the events of episode 23, when Titan Cameraman underwent treatment and upgrades in the Alliance lab. Here we can also notice Plungerman who is also wounded, and next to him is his friend, scientist cameraman. Then we move again to the old episodes and this time we see episode 14. At this point we can also notice another old and very important character of the series, it is simp cameraman and as you can see, he is again sitting and looking at the picture of TV woman on his tablet. And also here again you can see Plungerman in his old clothes and it seems that after these events in this episode, he was badly wounded, after which he was treated in the laboratory of the Alliance, together with the Titan cameraman. But what we were shown next surprised me. After all, we're shown people. We see a pretty girl setting up a camera to capture the moment in which they are working. She's quite funny here, as she asks you to like this video right now, and then gets to work with her co-workers. There is also another character looking at the camera and he reminds me of a secret agent, but in his youth. Back then he apparently had longer hair than he does now and was just as funny a dude as the girl we were talking about the other day. As for the characters in question. Personally, I'm assuming it's a cameraman scientist, but in the past, and it's a plungerman, but also in the distant past. But if you have other theories on this, then by all means post them in the comments. Next we see that they have entered some kind of command on the computer and behind their protective glass you can see a burst of strong blue energy. I suppose they could be experimenting with a time machine, or a machine that can open portals to other dimensions. This moment also reminded me of the first part of Spider-Man Across Universes. Next we see interference and the camera gradually gets farther away. And as you can see all this time camera woman was watching her life, specifically certain moments in which Plungerman was present. Also an interesting fact is that her number on the tablet is number 69. That's an interesting detail, but we're moving on. Because the Alliance helicopter has delivered their new location and next we see Camera Woman's epic fight with the toilets. She has a pretty aggressive fighting style, and besides her guns on her hands, she uses a Plungerman plunger. She successfully and epically defeats the new enemy that we were shown in the second leak for episode 73. Next, she helps Camera Woman's engineer to stand up. But they are being attacked more and more and then Camera Woman activates Aimbot and thanks to her improvements, easily destroys six enemies. Her volleys are similar to those of the Strider Cameraman we saw in episode 72. Next, she turns on her allies again and they again ask you to put a like under this video. But you can also spot a secret agent lurking behind them here, next to the fire. He's pretty clearly visible, but the agents don't notice him. Next, the small squad of cameramen is attacked by some skibbity Rambo because his main weapon is literally his hands and his large size, compared to the agents. He confidently goes at the camera woman, but she is not afraid of him and is ready to take the fight. But suddenly the opponents in the sky notice something terrible and unexpected, from which they even decide to fly away. And it is good that this skibbity Rambo had time to fly away, because then the robot scientist flew and began to attack the opponents. But how is this possible, if we all personally saw how the scientist died? And everything is simple because as I said before it is just a big robot, and as we learn further, it is controlled by TV Woman. And when Camera Woman found out about it, she liked it. Next we see three containers, which as we know contain the scientists' latest skibbity inventions. But then there is also a fourth container, which is safely knocked down by TV Woman controlling the big skibbity robot scientist. The container falls to the ground and G-Toilet is surprised that the scientist is alive and as you can guess, my theory that Titan G Toilet was surprised to see the scientist Skibbity turned out to be correct, so be sure to watch all my videos with theories and leak analysis. Jimmy is also surprised that the scientist is now fighting for the Alliance for whatever reason. But after a small blow, Jimmy realized that this robot is controlled by an Alliance agent and so directed the power of his lasers at him and Skibbity robot with an explosion falls to the ground and of course you have a logical question and whether TV Woman survived after such a fall? I think so and in addition to that I can assume that at the time of the fall TV Woman was able to jump and save herself in time. She is a trained agent, she survived, so don't worry and try to calm the cameraman down. Further toilets again want to take the container, but camera woman detains them. She without unnecessary words and actions, just destroys these toilets, which transported this cargo. 
but they survived and Jimmy did not like that she tried to do this and he directed his lasers at camera woman. But in time Titan speaker man appeared in the location and was able to intercept the cargo again, and this time the toilets transporting it by air were destroyed. Also after Titan speaker man came Titan cameraman and also teleported Titan TV man. Titan also uttered a phrase that goes something like this, there's nowhere to run. To which the G toilet Titan also responded to them all with a phrase that goes like this, fools, you don't know what's coming. And you know, he did it in plain English and perhaps this is another fact that confirms that the Titan G toilet is an astro toilet. Then when the camera pans back to the Titan TV man, he says another phrase that goes like this, whatever's coming, you won't live to see it. The Titan G toilet then just starts charging his lasers and that's the end of the first part of episode 73. Write in the comments how you like this episode and be sure to write your theories in the comments, because the most interesting of them will be in my next video, with theories about what could happen next. Part 2 of the 73rd episode starts when the Titans appear in the location and yes, we have already seen the beginning of this episode in part 1. The new part of the story begins when G-Toilet charges his lasers and very epically says a phrase. Yes, and I'm referring to the words of Titan Cameraman, and if you've forgotten, I'll remind you that Cameraman uttered the phrase. Next, Titan Speaker Man starts to attack Jimmy, but he apparently covered his backside with metal plates, and focused all the power of his lasers into the reactor to Titan TV Man but it's not the first time Titan has absorbed the enemy's energy, so he says a phrase that goes like this. I am the last thing you will see, and also activates his crazy red radiation, but at this time Jimmy was just playing with Titan, he made TV man think that this is all G-Toilet can do, but in the meantime, he's releasing a ball of green energy from his reactor, and I'm going to assume that this is secret agent technology because what happened to the Titan after the energy hit his reactor is that all of his abilities stopped working. So remember in episode 70, the secret agent also uses green colored energy to disable the agent's abilities, or to give them new abilities, like when the secret agent made Plungerman and Dark Speaker Man invisible. Back to episode 73, the following happened. After the green energy hit the Titan TV man, his abilities were disabled and G-Toilet did some damage to the Titan but then G-Toilet was attacked by other Titans. The first Titan to attack was Speaker Man, but G-Toilet blocked his attacks and attacked him with lasers and released a green energy core at him. This can be seen if you slow down the video. Next, G-Toilet is attacked by the Titan Cameraman and immediately rips one of his lasers away from G-Toilet with his first attack. But Jimmy immediately decides to use his old limb infestation trick on Cameraman, but Cameraman repels this attack, at which point G-Toilet is both surprised and angry and attacks Cameraman using his remaining lasers as well as saying a TV Man phrase. Then TV Man jumps on Jimmy, but he manages to fend off the attack and TV Man just falls to the ground, but at that moment a bright green glow also appears and I think it's no secret if I tell you that it's a secret agent. We have already seen a similar scene in episode 67, and in the full version of the episode we were shown in detail how the secret agent moved here, and hopefully this episode will not be an exception and in the secret scenes we will also be shown a secret agent here. And meanwhile, when the secret agent teleported away, the Titan cameraman was able to gather the energy of the G-Toilet lasers and send it back to the sender, but this only cheered Jimmy up, and he was attacked again by the Titan speaker man. He destroyed the thing that made G-Toilet fly fast, namely his jetpack, but in return for the jetpack, Jimmy bit off one of Speakerman's cannons. He also knocked him back with a punch. And while Speakerman was pissed off, he wasn't looking around, so the Skibbity Parasite took advantage of that and was able to infect the Titan with the Skibbity virus again and his reactor turned yellow again, after which the TV man uttered a phrase. You got to be sure Tin Me, that's what Titan TV man said, in case you didn't get it. And really Titan couldn't believe that Speakerman had become infected again. And for some reason when I first saw it, I remembered the episode in which Titan TV Man tells Titan Speaker Man that there is no stabbing. Then the infected Titan Speaker Man attacks the Titan TV Man again and the Titan undergoes another operation to remove the Skibbity Parasite, and Jimmy is very happy that he was able to infect the Titan again. But his happiness didn't last long, 
because a second later his head was grabbed by Titan Cameraman with the words you mine. Then he threw him on the ground and decided to do what he wanted to do with him in episode 65, namely he wanted to make a hollow for robotic squirrels to store their digital nuts there. Meanwhile, while the Titan was busy making the doublet, the Skibbity hybrid that we saw in part 1 of episode 73 flew up to him unnoticed. Let me remind you that he flew away when he saw the Skibbity scientist again. And as I told you in my theory videos, this hybrid will most likely return to help the G-Toilet. He planted a bomb in the Titan, which exploded. Then he threw the hybrid out and tried to crush it, but it failed and the hybrid was able to fly away. Next, a Skibbity mole came out of the sand, because what else can you call it? Because it came out of the sand, damn it. And when Titan tried to throw him off, by doing so he activated the bombs that were on the enemy and most likely the leg of Titan cameraman was torn off, because even if the arm of POV camera woman was torn off, although it was at quite a distance from the explosion. Next, Jimmy gets up again and bites off one of Titan Cameraman's shoulder cannons. And when Jimmy decides to take a sweeter bite, Cameraman grabs his head with his new Astro Claw, but G-Toilet charges up the core and lasers, and attacks Titan Cameraman. But luckily after a few seconds Titan Speaker Man appears and stabs G-Toilet in the eye with a big knife, so Jimmy stops attacking Cameraman and switches to Titan Speaker Man. Next, after Speakerman's attack, Jimmy decides to take the initiative on you and Doggy Style attacks the Titan Speaker Man, and also attacks him with his lasers, but Speaker Man does not give up and continues to fight back with his hands. Then Titan TV Man comes in and starts attacking Jimmy and then something strange happens because G-Toilet says, wait, you need me. To which TV Man replies, only your head, now die, and he jumps on G-Toilet again, but he manages to dodge. But then TV Man activates his red radiation again and the Titan G Toilet tries to restrain himself from going insane from the Titan's mad study. Next, one of the G Toilets that was carrying the cargo in a crate flies up nearby. And then Jimmy utters a phrase. I will he breaks two containers containing turbines, he attaches them to himself and flies away knocking down Titan TV Man on the way. TV Man then goes on a rampage and starts smashing everything. He is very angry and when he turns to face camera woman's POV he shows us his evil emotion. And then he teleports and it reminded me of the moment in episode 56 when one of the TV man agents teleported away saying the phrase, you only had one task. Then part 2 of episode 73 ends and what can we say about the sequel? Mr. Boom has already said that the episode will be shorter than expected, as it took Mr. Boom a long time to create, but still everything he didn't show us in the first two parts he will show us the rest in the secret scenes for the full 73 episode. But what does he want to show us? I think the secret scenes will show us what happened to the TV woman, but even if they don't show it in this full episode, it will be in the full version of season 24. Also it is not clear why the secret agent moved to this place and also remains a mystery what happened to the other titans and where the titan TV man teleported to. Also we may be shown how Skibbity Scientist discussed G-Toilet's plan in case the scientist is destroyed and that's what G-Toilet should do after the scientist's death. Well, the beginning of the full version of episode 73 starts exactly the same way as the previous episode, so we'll skip those moments and go straight to the battle between the Titan G-Toilet and the Titans. In addition to the additional effects and particles in the battle that add atmosphere to the fight, the episode also has moments where Mr. Boom added more characters. For example, after Jimmy became a pirate, the Titan TV man appears in the frame and starts attacking G-Toilet and this time every hit was exactly on target and if you rewatch this moment you will understand it all, here's a look for yourself. His skibbity drones also came to the Titan's aid, but luckily only one of them was able to crash into the Titan TV man. Then when Jimmy decided to live in this world for a few more episodes, he just like the old version, pulled the turbines from the containers and flew away, pushing the Titan TV man in the process. But this time TV man didn't just get angry and started destroying all the buildings nearby, he destroyed the buildings, because they had skibbity toilets on them. And also in the moment of Titan TV man's teleport you can see an additional purple lightning, and what now begins to analyze additional scenes. So subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and also give us a like, we continue. The first thing we see after Titan's teleport is what happened to Cameraman and Speakerman Titan. As we can see they survived, but they were very badly damaged. Titan Cameraman really lost one of his legs, 
so he had to take one of his guns, in order for him to have something to lean on. Or is it one of the G toilet lasers, post in the comments what it is. But the Titan speaker man has suffered the most. Look at him, he can barely crawl. And honestly he reminds me a little bit of Darth Vader, but at his earliest stage. Titan cameraman lifts his brother up and puts him on his back, then walks away with the gait of a Yoda master. And apparently Blood went to find himself and his brother parts for not going back to the Alliance base, though they should. Next, the POV camera woman goes down to the ground and the cameraman squad makes their way to the last part of the lab. And at this point, a new special agent TV man moves into this location. And to be honest it's hard for me to make out what he's saying, so once it's known I'll post it in my YouTube community tab. Next camera woman looks at his hand and in addition to the sparks it's also bleeding or maybe it's red colored machine oil. Then the engineer comes and fixes camera woman on the engineer is attacked by Skibbity Hybrid, but fortunately in time comes TV woman and thanks to her sharp hands and fire study destroys this enemy. Next, gunshots and screams are heard in one of the buildings, so camera woman decides to go to the sound. She infiltrates the building and literally destroys several Skibbity toilets in a matter of seconds. And there is a stop of the episode at this point that you can see a man and most likely the shots and screams were from him because next to him you can also notice an AK-47 assault rifle. Camera woman goes further, she opens a locked door, behind which it turns out there are real-life people, who are most likely the last survivors of this laboratory. And after the soldiers saw the camera woman they stopped firing and said, It's not one of them. You're an ally, right? You're alive, right? This phrase confirms that once people knew that there is a laboratory where people are put into a mechanical body and then they become one with the robot. Camera woman then gives the humans a bark, indicating that she is on their side. Among the people you can see not only soldiers, but also scientists. And if you look closely, you can see a broken monitor screen, just the kind of monitor we can see when we are shown a secret agent. And the cabinets that are on the floor are green and I think that's a hint from Mr. Boom to these people. In future episodes we will be able to learn more about what happened in the Alpha Hills lab. And that concludes the complete 73rd episode. And let me tell you my theories as to why we haven't seen the TV man before. I have two theories, the first of which is. This agent was on a secret mission and therefore was not helping the Alliance. The second theory is that the TV man agents were looking for a suitable person to create a special agent TV man. About the next time we'll see the humans again. I think that next time we will see them only in additional scenes for season 24. And in episode 74 we will see where TV man teleported Titan and most likely new Titan fight. You can write your theories in the comments and the most interesting ones will be in one of my next videos. As I said in my post in the community tab on YouTube, this analysis will be different from what I usually do, and if I tell the same thing as my other colleagues, it will not be so interesting, so I will start with the interesting. In this episode we were first shown a new special agent cameraman, and as you can see he looks like the old version of Titan cameraman, also in this episode we were first shown what TV man agents see when they teleport and this is where the most important moment happens, because if you look closely at the moments in which the elite agent TV man teleports, you can see another new agent that we do not see without the effect of teleportation. In this fragment the new agent is here and in slow motion you can see him better. Also in the second teleportation of TV man, again you can see the same hidden agent and at first I assumed that maybe it is a secret agent, but no, because his head is literally a computer monitor. He doesn't look like a TV man agent, nor does he look like any other agent. But that's not all the references to the new race of agents. In fact further when POV TV man finds infected people, at some point you can see the monitor screen again. I think these are references to the new race of computer man agents. And let me remind you that earlier TV man also behaved very secretive and did not show themselves to the alliance of agents, the same thing is happening now with the computer man agents. They behave very secretly, since they can be seen only with the effect of teleportation, and then we only see them on behalf of TV man. I think that during the next 10 episodes they will show themselves, but only on what side will they be? That remains a mystery. Also in this episode we were shown how TV man treats infected people. This elite agent TV man did not save people and try to teleport them to find a cure and try to cure them, he was very radical and ordered the cameraman agents to burn them. And honestly even though these people were infected I believe they could have been saved. For comparison I will give you an additional scene to the full version of episode 73, when camerawoman found a group of people, 
among them was the infected man and I think that people took him with them to the survivor squad in order to find a cure so that in the future they can cure all infected people. And honestly I think there will be a civil war in the alliance in the future. I predict that the opinions of the cameraman and speaker man agents will not agree with the opinions of the TV man agents. And yes even though TV men help, they only help people like them. And maybe after Skibbity and Astro Toilet's war with the cameraman alliance is over. The question will be who's the strongest being on the planet now, and it's unlikely to be humans. After all, the agents were able to end this war, while humans in most cases cannot resist Skibbity and Astro Toilet. Maybe I'm looking too far ahead and maybe what I said will happen very soon, because the way the Alliance and Astro Toilet are set up, the war is just beginning honestly I'm guessing where Titan TV Man and Speaker Man have moved to. Most likely they moved to the Speaker Man base, because as Mr. Boom said in one of his recent interviews, he mentioned the Speaker Man base and said he knows in which episode we will see their base. I'm going to assume that maybe we'll also see their base in additional scenes for season 24. And I also assume that there will be three additional scenes, and when we should wait for the release of the whole season 24, I will tell you later. Now let's talk about where the G-Toilet Titan went. We all thought that in the 74th episode we will see the legendary battle of Titan TV Man with Titan G-Toilet and thought that in 74th episode we will find out who will win. But as it turned out, we did not get this battle. And as we learned in episode 74, the scientist TV Man needs a living Titan G-Toilet. He says so himself in this moment. Alive. Bring their leader to our base. So that's where the Titan G Toilet went. I think it flew to a less safe place so that it could be assembled into the real G Toilet Titan we saw in the lab drawings. And as for this picture, I assume it is a concept of what the Titan should look like once it is equipped with all the necessary parts. Either this is what G Toilet Titan used to look like, or this is the future. All in all there are quite a few theories and in my next videos I will be telling you about them. For now, let's discuss the fate of the simp cameraman. We assumed that in episode 74 we will see his improved version or evil version, but it turned out that all this time he was in the captivity of Skibbity Toilet, and despite the fact that TV Woman in episode 57 saved not him, he is still very much in love with her and at this point you can see how he reaches out to her. I assume that in the next episodes of Simp Cameraman will become a real Jigachad in every sense of the word. He will have a new improved body, unique abilities, and of course a very big gun. The next topic I want to discuss with you is whether Titan Cameraman died at the end of episode 74. At the moment we can't say that, but I'm sure that in the additional scenes we will see what happened to him and I have two theories. The first is that he will be killed by this Astro Commander or the Astro Toilet will take him prisoner so that the Alliance will give them the G Toilet Titan in exchange for the Cameraman Titan. And it seems that the Alliance would be happy to give them the G Toilet, but the Scientist TV Man will not allow it, because as we know from this episode G Toilet is needed by the Race TV Man. And it is possible that just this case and will be the key to the civil war within the Alliance, because TV Mans did not want to give Astro Toilet their main enemy. Alliance agents are more likely to remember all the bad actions that were committed by TV man agents in the process of their alliance and there will be a split of the alliance. But again, these are just my theories. You can write your theories in the comments and the most interesting will be in one of my next videos. And of course how can I not mention the easter egg on the multiverse dom studio. In this moment we see how the elite agent TV man with fury throws down these items referring to the races of agents of the Dom Studio universe, and picks up the very document that depicts G Toilet. Well, who knows, maybe someday we YouTubers analysts will get as an easter egg in the universe of Skibbity Toilet. And now as I said before, let me try to guess when the full version of season 24 with additional scenes will be released. Judging by how the quality of the episodes has increased and the speed at which they are released, I would guess that we will see the full version in two weeks. Again this is just my guess, I can't say for sure when the full 24 season will be released. Even Mr. Boom himself can't know when the full version will come out. So all we have to do is wait and watch Skibbity Toilet Analysts videos. Write your theories in the comments, and also what do you think about the new race of agents and what happened to Titan Cameraman? And we'll start right away with the first extra scene, in which we see everything happening from the POV of a lucky cameraman. As we know, this character works for a secret agent and the last time we saw him was in an extra scene for season 23, where he was found by an alliance squad that was picking up wounded agents. The lucky cameraman's arm was damaged in a battle with a skibbity scout and just then we are shown how he is being treated by a cameraman engineer and a cameraman medic, 
but also in the background we can see a detective cameraman moving towards the exit of the office where the POV is located. This character was watching the last seconds of Plungerman's life and I thought that his camera might have spotted the lucky cameraman, but after re-watching this moment several times I realized that this is not the case. The recording was cut off before we saw the lucky cameraman. Then why did the detective focus on him? I think the answer is simple, because he's the only one who was there from the beginning of the bunker and the only one who managed to survive. But then why was he handcuffed? And that question can also be answered. After all, the detective also most likely watched as the lucky cameraman knows where to go and he alone has a device that opens all the locks in the bunker of the enemy, and this already looks like a covert cooperation with Skibbity Toilet. So detective cameraman wants to interrogate the lucky cameraman and something tells me that his luck is now gone forever. But when will we see this interrogation? I'm wondering the same thing and I have two theories. The first theory is that the interrogation of the lucky cameraman will be in the next season, and the second theory is that Mr. Boom will probably release their interrogation in shorts format, because he recently released teasers for episode 74. What format do you think the interrogation of the lucky cameraman will be released in? Write in the comments, and while you write, I will move on to analyze the next secret scene. And in it, at first we see a lot of funny things. One of the agents is very cinematically admiring the sunset, the second one is brutally sitting on the toilet, the third one is smoking a cigar, and these guys. I don't even want to comment on what they're doing or what website they're going to put it on later. But just a few seconds later we see G Toilet flying away fast and quickly and then the Titan TV man appears in front of him, determined to destroy him and only after a while did it dawn on me that this scene takes place after the events of episode 73. Titan G Toilet asks for a chance, but Titan TV man is adamant that he won't do it after what Titan G Toilet did. And yet as we can tell from the scene in episode 74, G Toilet still managed to escape from Titan TV man. And it looks like G Toilet now wants to join the alliance because he realizes that he can't defeat the Astro Toilet's army alone. And I have a feeling that in the future when G Toilet will gain the trust of the alliance and will fight for them, he will play a very important and key role in the plot of the series, I assume that he will probably sacrifice himself for the Alliance, but this is just my theory, and you can write your theories in the comments and the most interesting of them will be in one of my next videos. So, now it's time for theories. After analyzing the entire 24th season I can say with certainty that it was one of the most beautiful and unusual seasons, because here we first saw living, surviving people, new special agents and most likely the death of the Titan of the Alliance, but about this we will talk more. And now I want to continue with a more recent topic, and specifically I want to talk about Detective Cameraman. Why do you think the detective chose the lucky cameraman? I agree, it's a pretty obvious question. He chose him because he's the only one who survived the skibbity bunker and yet he's the only one who took minimal damage. But then why did the detective order the agents to handcuff the lucky cameraman? Is he a criminal? I think that the detective studied the lucky cameraman's personnel file in great detail, he looked at all of his records and noticed a very strange detail, namely why at some points his camera malfunctions, so you can't see what's going on, and then when the signal is restored he behaves quite strangely. It's also likely that the detective has studied Plungerman's history, but not the whole thing from beginning to end, but the moment he spent in the skibbity bunker. I think the detective noticed that the lucky cameraman was acting strangely. I mean, how does he know where to go in the enemy bunker? And why doesn't the lucky cameraman get attacked by skibbity toilets at some points? We viewers who watch the series through the screen understand that the whole thing is that he works for a secret agent and all the necessary information was provided to him by the secret agent, but how to prove his innocence to the lucky cameraman, I do not know, because most likely if he tells about the secret agent, he will probably destroy him. What do you think, friends? Write your theories in the comments, and I'm moving on to the next more interesting topic, and specifically whether the Titan cameraman died at the end of the 74th episode. Because opinion is divided. And frankly, I'm more inclined to think that Astro Toilets most likely took Titan cameraman prisoner. But in doing so, they completely deprived him of the ability to fight and to stand up to them. So I guess that in the next season, we will see the Alliance trying to free Titan cameraman and as strange as it sounds, the Alliance will be helped by Titan G Toilet because we come to the fact that Skibbity Toilets and the Alliance to unite in order to resist Astro Toilets and this is exactly what the secret agent told Plungerman. What do you think we'll see in episode 75 and what do you think about season 24? Did you like it or not? And check out these videos that are on your screens right now.